Hello, and welcome to this demonstration, which provides a brief introduction to the new math tools in Oasis Montage and Target. This demonstration is for both the new and the experienced user to highlight some of the features of the new math expression builder for working with channels, grids, and voxels. To begin with, let's look at the channel math tool, and that's under Database Tools, Channel Math. These new expression builders help leverage the power of the math engine by making it easier and more convenient to create and use math expressions. As before, you have a line where you could enter in an expression. But to make it easier to enter in expressions, we can add channel variables. So here I'll add a couple. My first variable, C0, is going to be a new channel in my database. So for that, I'll type in the new channel's name. The other two, C1 and C2, are existing channels. So I can select those from the dropdowns. Click on the Operators button, and we'll see the common operators that we use in everyday math, addition, subtraction, etc. Some other ones that we might use a little bit more frequently, things like less than or greater than. There's also special math functions, min and maximum, things like the floor, which returns the next lowest whole value. Trigonometric functions. Date functions. And time functions. Today we're just going to be doing a simple subtraction, so I can just click on the subtraction button. And I just click OK. And there we've done a simple difference of our math. Another one that I like to use is the if then or true and false statement. And we can also find that in the operators. There is a common task drop down at the bottom of the dialog. This then loads me a prototype statement that I can use. And I will give C0 a new channel name. Let's just call this one F1. And for C1, let's use that channel we had made a moment ago, diff, the difference. And wherever the difference is greater than 50, we'll put in the value of the difference, C1 else we'll put in the value of a dummy. Click OK. We can take a look at that. So you can see wherever the difference is less than 50, we've put in the dummy. And wherever the value of the difference is greater than 50, the value of the difference was put into our channel. If you work with certain expressions routinely, or maybe they're a little bit more complicated, you can load those from files. So here I can load an expression file. And I've also used variables to make the expression more readable as well. So at the reading difference, my sense of separation, we will calculate a vertical gradient. Vertical grad is going to be a new channel in my database that will be created. The lower reading and the upper reading I can select from my drop down. So again, I'll pick mag bottom and mag top. And we'll use that expression to create a new channel called vertical grad or vgrad. And you can see how very simply there we've created some new um, channels in our database using math expressions. Similarly to the channel expression builder, there's also expression builders for working with grids and for voxels. And we can take a look at the grid one here as well. So that's under grid and image, grid math. And similar to the channel expression builder, you also have the ability to insert operators. Here we just have the frequent and trigonometric ones, since you don't usually grid up date and time. And you can insert grid variables instead of channel variables. One of the neat things, though, is you can actually also load the same expression that we used to calculate the vertical gradient to calculate a new grid file. So from the drop down here, I'll select a lower reading grid files I had created earlier and give it a name of a new grid file that I'd like to create. And then click OK. And there we go. I've calculated a new grid file with the vertical gradient. Hope you found this demonstration useful and informative and I'd like to thank you for your time and that you enjoy using the new math expression builders.